Welcome to Automation Training Up. In this video, we are going to learn scripting language. So the scripting language we using to connect different tag names. For example, right now, you can see in the switch, we given the tag name as yes. And in the lamp, I will give the tag name as L, I'll create it. So right now we're using different tag names. So if I go to runtime, if I try to on the switch, definitely what happens? The lamp, it won't respond because the both tag name are different. So in simulation, what we try to do is whatever tag name we given in switch, we try to give same tag name in lamp also. So that at runtime, it will work. So this concept is correct for testing purpose, but think with connecting with a controller, PLC or DCS. So when you're connecting with PLC or DCS, in that time, we try to give different tag name. For example, in here, if I say we have a switch and lamp now, in your program, what we try to do is, uh, I'll try to use a, for example, I'll just show you. For example, in the PLC, we using like this. We have a switch and we have a output. So you can see for input, the address we given 0, 0.00 and output we given 100.0. That means input address as well as output address, definitely it is different. Same way in PLC, we using the term word address. In SCADA, we call it as tag name. So for digital, if you're using the ta tag name as yes now, definitely for the output object also, I have to use what? Different tag name. I can't use what? Same. So when you're connecting with PLC, what we have to do? We have to give different tag names. So it will respond only when you're connecting with PLC. Right now at a simulation testing period, it won't work. So in testing period, if uh, if you want to support this uh, different tag names now, for that only they're given scripting language. So how we have to use it now? In your window, if you right click, you can see window script. In that you can write the coding. It is a basic of uh, what we're using in C language the statements statement conditions we are going to use it so you can see in the bottom of the window they given if then else else if and if as well as uh, logics and are not conditions and all they given so how to use it now i'm giving in here if switch so the switch tag name be given as yes so since it is condition, I have to give double equal to. So if condition is true, then lamp should get on. So for the statement, it should be single equal to with semicolon. So since we started with the if statement, we have to give end if so right now we given the script so this script will run every one millisecond once so this is a scanning time so right now i'll give okay you can see now so when the switch is on what happens lamp is getting on but when the switch is off, still lamp remains in on state because we didn't give any script for off condition. So what we have to do then? I have to I have to write the script for off condition also. So I'll just copy and paste it. I'll edit in that. So I given if the switch is off, then I, it should be zero.
either we can do in this way in the script otherwise we can use else in here so instead of uh, again if then i can give it as what if switch is on lamp should on otherwise so else lamp should be off so if condition is true statement one else statement two so this one also correct so right now you can see when the switch is on the lamp is getting on if the switch is off lamp is off even if you want you can connect what analog tag name also for example right now i am placing one uh, object in here i am going to consider this one as uh, tank and i am giving the filling uh, in vertical direction tag name as t so i am uh, giving the range as 0 to 100 so right now you are saying when the switch is on So when the switch is on, your tank level should start increasing. So normally in a simulation, what we do is to vary the tank level, we use what? Slider. But right now, I'm not going to use slider. We are saying it as what? If the switch is on, the tank level should increase. So in the script language, we have to do it. So in the script, I'm going to write, if the switch is on, in here you can see, we given lamp is on next to that i can give it as what either next we can give or separately we have to give so in here you can give us t equal to t plus one so in here initially your tank level will be zero in the first scanning time in the time what happens zero plus one one currently your tank level is one in the second uh, scanning time, what happens? 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So like that, your tank level start increasing. You can see now. If the switch is off, it will stop. Otherwise, it will keep on running. So you can see the value. Even though the range we given as what? 0 to 100. Since we given switches on, the tank level should increase. It will keep on increasing. So if you want to stop it now, for that also we have to write the script. Okay. So right now you can say it as if the tank level. So if your tank level reaches 100. So the condition is what if the tank level is equal to 100 or uh, for safety you can give because it is keep on running now sometimes it will jump from 100 so you can give greater than or equal to 100 as a condition then what should happen then the increment process should stop so right now the tank increment is happening with the help of what switch so you can make it as what switch should get off then the statement will be what switch equal to zero so right now i'll make into zero now see so once the tank reaches to 100 immediately the switch will get off so since switch is off it will stop on 100 itself So like this, we can able to connect all the process. So right now we are using what statement? We using what if statement, if then statement, we using if else, or else if we can use it. Or maybe you can say, instead of writing these uh, script, we can use what direct tag name also. For example, right now, instead of giving if I can write it as L, L is what lamp. So lamp should work related to switch so i can give directly like this 
so l equal to s that means what l lamp status is depend upon your switch so if the switch is on na l equal to 1 if the switch is off na l equal to 0 so that what happens now you can see so like this also we can write or you can say in plc we were using dvol starter concept so dvol starter means direct online starter that means i'm going to use two switches so this will be for example i'm saying it as start switch This will be stop. So this hash is for display status we want to see whether it is on or off. So I'm using it. So right now, if I press start button, your lamp should on. If the start button is released also, the lamp should remain in on. So for that, we do what? Latching. So when you press the stop push button, lamp should off. That is unlatch. So latching, unlatching only, we call it as what? DVOL starter or start and stop operation. So for this, how we can write the script now? Right now, we know the L corresponds to switching. So L equal to, that is L should respond depending on start. So in later, how we develop, develop a program for this now, so that it will be easy for you to understand. So in later, we try to do like this. So you can see when we press start button, your lamp should on. After releasing also due to latching, it remains an on. When you press the stop, it will be off. The same thing we are going to do in script. So you can see the start as well as this uh, output. We are given in parallel. So parallel now all condition. So in the script, you can write us start or L. So give the bracket. Then the result of this one we connected with what? NC contact. So in here you have to give it as and since it is NC not you have to give stop semicolon so like this whatever we're doing in plc we can able to do in script also so right now i'll give the stop button so this is our start so when i press the start button lamp is on after start button is released also the lamp remains in on when you press the stop button, it is off. So whatever we done in PLC, right now what we did, we done in script. So if you're connecting with, uh, if you're connecting the SCADA with PLC, in that time what we have to do now, either I have to use this one in SCADA. So the status of the signal I have to pass to the SCADA. That means in SCADA we are going to monitor it. Suppose if you say I'm going to control, then what you can do now, Instead of this, uh, what we have to do is uh, I have to give a memory address.
so the output alone physical output will be there instead of physical input devices we using what memory address so that in scada if you try to control if you try to activate na in plc program also it will get on since we connecting memory address so this is what controlling signal so if you want to do monitor as well as control if you say now we have to combine both programming so in the later session i will show you how to interface with plc so i hope you understood how to use the script language in the next session we'll see what are the types of uh, script language we have after that we'll see the interfacing thank you